Hi everybody, welcome back to another month of my homeschool favorites. Abby from Full Time Wife Life puts out these videos every month and she invites a ton of us to get in and share. And I'll be honest, it's kind of summertime so homeschool favorites is kind of up in the air as to what we are enjoying right now. I am not a fun mom. I don't normally pick up like toys for everybody to play with or uh, crafts for us to do like kiwi crates um, and probably have more of a minimalist approach when it comes to that but I do have stuff that I find very valuable into our homeschool and of course I always seem to share a book regardless of what we're doing that month I, there's just books are a huge part of our homeschool life <clears throat> um, on that note, so I'm getting ready to take the kids to the park and the library again. That seems to be the biggest thing that I do for our homeschool is um, just park days and libraries. And, uh, but I do have some favorites for this month. Um, contact paper. I think this is $2.97 at Walmart. This is a clear matte transparent contact paper. I like to put these on books that we're going to be using a lot. My copy of the Burgess book, the Burgess Bird Book for Children, it just kind of holds the cover really well. Um, I also put it on the Story of the World, uh, Volume 2 copy. Again, it just holds the covers really well, especially with constant opening and bending and, and things like that. It just gives it a little bit extra oomph. And recently I've been covering paper dolls. Oh, that's a lot of work. But again, you know, the paper, they're constantly played with um, real well, and you just kind of want a little bit of stability to it. So contact paper is definitely a favorite in this month. If some people like laminating sheets. I'm a contact paper kind of girl. A new thing to our home school shelf this month um, is Captain Bailey's Air. We love... What is it called? I think they're like Heirloom Productions or something like that. Heirloom Audio Productions. Okay, that's what it's called. Heirloom Audio Productions. This is Captain Bailey's hair. It's it's the part of the it's part of the Extraordinary Adventures of G. A. Henty, and uh, they have some fantastic characters that come do it. We literally have worn out our with Lee and Virginia, who had Kirk Cameron in it, and um. Jim Wise and uh, different people like that. The, um, but I did get the latest one. This is kind of the Gold Rush, but it takes place in England and then comes over towards the Gold Rush, and it's really good. And of course, they've only listened to this about a million times already. I am getting a little bit old of it. Um, but this is definitely a favorite of ours, and we constantly, um, or, or I should say, they are constantly asking me for more of these, and I do need to replace our with Lee and Virginia. I'm just not going to do that right now because I just spent our budget on this one. Um, they are not cheap in the sense that you're going to pay five or ten dollars. I think I ended up paying like 40 bucks with shipping. Um, but it's worth it. I just need to figure out a better way to have the CDs because the our car ends up chewing the CDs up because of all the potholes and stuff we go through. Anyway. That's a favorite this month. So we have the contact paper and uh, Gia Henty. Another favorite this month are going to be these baskets. I tried the Dollar Tree baskets uh, to keep the books in. I'm done with the Dollar Tree baskets. I have been replacing them so often. I don't know if it's because of our extreme temperatures because I don't think anybody else seems to have this problem. But um, these are at Marshalls for 4 to $5 a piece, and by the time I replace all the other baskets, I could have spent a little bit more and gotten something like this. So for my baskets, I am putting a little bit more out up front to get good sturdy baskets. In the end, though, um, I've paid about the same. So that's going to be a homeschool favorite. I know everybody's into the Dollar Tree. Maybe it's just me and their baskets. I don't know. But um, this is going to be another monthly favorite. And then lastly, I wanted to share with you these ones that I've really been um, enjoying and planning out our nature study with the children. 
I don't know if I've shared these before, but I have fun with nature and more fun with nature. And these are take along guides. Um, as you can see, I've kind of marked what are native to our areas. Or um, like this one is hang a squirrel nut ball, a gold mantled ground squirrel, which is native to us. Um, the white tailed jackrabbit, again, that's kind of native to us. And it just kind of says what it eats, what it looks like, where to find it, and um, just different uh, interesting fact. It can go from zero to 45 miles an hour in an instant. So I just really like, and then you've got like um, a project you can do to kind of bring home what you're learning. These were something that I added last year to our homeschool, and I didn't use them as well as I should have. Um, but I am now.